All right, I'm going to do a little bit of adaptive component work. Um, we were putting in the blend for these two columns, for these beams in the previous one, but I want to show you how you can do it with an adaptive component. And so what I want to do first is I'm going to come down and I'm actually going to adjust some reference planes that we already have. So if I come in here and pick this reference plane, actually if it'll let me tab into it, I'm just going to move that reference plane from there to the inside of that wall. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one over here. So move it from there to the inside of that wall. So those reference planes are there. That's my left one and my right one. So I'll go back to my 3D view. And I'm going to spin around so I'm at the front of my building. All right? So All right, so this is the right and this is the left. So what I want to do is I want to project this line that I created through the middle of those circles onto that wall. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Architecture, Component, Model in Place, and I'm going to pick Mass. And it's going to give me an environment where I can do a divided line and put on an adaptive component. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set to the left plane and then I'm going to go to reference and pick line and you're going to notice it's going to project onto that plane right if I come in here see how it's projecting that so if I left click it's going to make a line that projects onto that plane from these particular, I'm going to have to go to wireframe here, I think, to get to that one, to get to the end of that. Maybe even. All right, so, oh no, I just, I've got that one. That one's straight at the end. So we're good with that. So now I've got a line projected on that. I'm going to spin around and do the other side. So I'll change my reference plane to right. And come in here and pick, I have to zoom in kind of to get that line. So I want to pick that and that, right? So now I've got two lines on either side of this mass. And now what I want to do is divide those lines. So I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to pick that line and I'm going to pick control pick that line. And there's a divide path. So I'm going to divide those. All right, so now they were divided. And then I'm going to put a parameter on that division. So I'm going to associate a parameter with that division. And we'll say um, divide. And I'm going to leave it a type parameter. Click OK and click OK. Now what I can do is I can bring in an adaptive component so if I scroll down, I don't think I have any in here. I might have to load them to my families. Close up the annotations and go to generic models and see what I've got in the generic models. That's all I have. So I'm going to go, I'm going to load one or two in. I'm going to go to insert, load family, and I'm going to go to my custom library. And I have generic models adaptive components. I'm going to take the two-point tube and then I also have a, a louver down at the bottom I think that I can use. If I can get there from here. Yeah, we'll take the louver as well. And I'll click open. That's going to load those in here and upgrade them. Um, and you'll see that they'll show up over here under generic models. So I'm going to go to my two-point tube and I'm going to left click on it drag it out there, and I'm going to snap it to these little blue points, right? And once I've done that, I'm going to hit modify, come back and pick it, and then there's a repeat and, oops, it's under here, repeat and divide, this little guy with the P in front of it, and it, click that, and it goes, because what's happened is the, the, dot, the way that it's divided the line, it's reversed it. So, I'm going to control Z out of that 
and I'm going to delete this guy and I'm going to pick this line and over here I can say show node number and if I go out there it'll say okay one's there and it goes up to six and then if I come over here and I say show node number six is over here so they're reversed so it's been trying to match one to one so I'm going to flip the direction on that one and it'll reverse and now I can come over here and pull this tube out, right, and I'll pick it again, right. And now if I use that repeat, it'll put those along there. And the other things that I can do, I can, for example, come in here to my family types, right, where I have that divide set up. I don't know if I can make this any smaller, but you see that divide number? I can change that divide number to say, you know, 18 and then hit apply and it'll put 18 of them in there. Or I could say, no, it's too many. I just need 10. Hit apply. And that looks good, but I want them to be bigger. So I'm going to come over here to my generic models and double click on 2.2 and it's going to give me the parameters that I put on that adaptive family and I'll duplicate 2.2 and I'll set it to one foot, the radius of that circle. And then if I come in here, I need to pick it, and then I can come down and flip it out. So 2.22, and it'll now put the larger ones in there. Or I can pick this and I can go to the louver straight, and it'll put louvers in there for me, right? So now if I go to shaded, Right, it's got these louvers, and now maybe I need a whole bunch more of these louvers. So I go and um, go to my family types in here, and I'll change that to like, you know, 20, and click OK. So I've got 20 louvers in there, and then I can actually change what that louver is doing. So if I go to louver straight, let's say I duplicate that one, and we make this a 30 degree angle. Click OK, pick it, and move straight to. And now those are at a 30 degree angle, right? Now there is some strangeness going on up here, and that has to do sort of where it's making that corner turn. It might be possible to come in and like tab select one of these guys and edit that family. Whoops, I got. I need one of them. Or actually, let's go over here. And edit. And it'll open that family up. And these are the adaptive points that I made the louver in between. And if I pick those, I get both of them. One, two. And I scroll down. I'm going to come down and change this to host XYZ and then load it back into the project. Overwrite the existing version and we'll see. For some reason there's like a video glitch when that happens, but I'm just going to reset temporary hide isolate and they come back, right? If you sort of mess with the video, but you can see that that kind of flattened those guys out and made them react to the current um, UCS and not the local line one. But you can still come in and change them and update them. Okay. All right. So that's the adaptive components. Um, and I think that's, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So...